Nice. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey. hey. Nice to meet ya. You too. Hey, and there's we're here. <laughs> Dave, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Dave. Is he nice Izzy, to meet you? Is he nice to meet you? Jacob filled out the 50 state questionnaire and said, you know, if you're in the Phoenix area and need some help, let me know. So I hit him up yesterday, and him and his dad both know how to weld, and they're both are, you know, really into Jeeps and they build Jeeps. So today, Dave and Jacob are gonna help me adjust the hitch on Jade so that we can try and see if we can't get the rear tire carrier able to swing open while the trailer is connected. Really appreciate their help. I have faith we're going to be able to get it in. Awesome. That's a rare find and it yeah. looks in really good shape. Kaiser, CJ5, Stepside, 55 Willys right there. So many sick projects in the shop and the shop itself is absolutely amazing. We're going to check out some of Dave's Jeeps. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, this oh man. <laughs> 1944 Willys MB that we restored from the ground up. Wow. When we originally got it, it was just a wreck ready to go to the crusher and none of the military stuff was on it or anything like that. So we had to locate all the parts and everything. and. I welded up over 200 holes in the body that weren't supposed to be there and did all the body work also. All the gear mounted on, shovel, axe. Yeah, Annie, it's like Jade, except way older. <laughs> Definitely where my inspiration came from when it came to building my Jeep. It was it? Yeah, it was for sure. And even the M1 Grand? Yeah. Yep. Wow. I didn't even know that's how they mounted them in there. That, yeah, that they so used cool. these rifle scabbards and uh, they mount them on the windshield. They were made for that, but sometimes in uh, the war, troops would mount them in other places on the Jeep and you'll see them all over. I didn't even know they made Optimus that small. Yeah, that's the only thing like, that's not original in the Jeep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it street legal then? Yeah. It's the best day ever. Hop in the back, there's room for you. Yep. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> you can man the gun. I've never ridden one of these. This is like a dream go oh, really? Yeah. It's fun. It gets a lot of looks, obviously. Yeah, I bet. This is so cool. Yeah, imagine going into war with this. No tops, no Yeah, floors. you're pretty exposed in it. Yeah. The zombies come, I know who I'm hitting up. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna hit you. Zombie apocalypse. One of my favorite moments in life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, you Dave. You're welcome. Really you're appreciate welcome. that. <laughs> I love this thing. We did this in four months. Four months? Yeah. Ground, ground up ground rester? Up. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is amazing. It, it looks like it just came from the factory, brand new. So Dave, awesome dude, he's offered to completely design a new hitch for Jake. He's going to extend it about six inches and then we're going to lower it about four inches to even up the trailer. So in the meantime, we decided to camp off the grid had a nice night out there. Now we just headed back because today they're gonna be finished up and we are working out and then going to the museum. Until then, it's workout time. There's something on the ceiling. What is that? Are those paper butterflies? 25,000 of them. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Look, it's art. Whoa, what is that? It's art. That is so art. Whoa, it's 
creepy. <laughs> it's burnt, burnt firewood. That's what it is. I don't know what's going on. I'm really scared, actually. I can see myself, but yet I can't see myself. So here it is. It looks like it's drying, just got a fresh coat of paint. That's some thick material. You guys started on it this morning yeah. and just knocked it out. I mean, they're fast. Yeah. I get a text from Jacob, he's like, yeah, uh, how does 2.30 sound? I'm like, what, you guys are done already? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, and you even painted them olive drab? You guys are, <laughs> yeah, Jacob you guys are awesome. These need to be olive drab. I showed Dave the existing bed supports that mount to the roll bar. So these are bending and they're not staying in the same height, so it's making the whole bed get out of adjustment. He made some custom brackets for it. I mean, look how thick that sucker is. I think that's gonna hold us a lot better, <laughs> don't you think? Yeah. And then the olive drab touch, I mean, come on, that's awesome. You guys rock. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the way, what we'll do on these, is I have bolts set up, is these will clamp around the roll cage, yeah. wherever we, you want them, and then you'll be able to bolt Put your screws right oh, into there. Oh man, that's perfect. We love uh, fabrication yeah. stuff, especially when there's a challenge and it's that's like, yeah. so how the heck are we gonna do this? Yeah. I made a little jig. Oh. That's how I did the, oh, cool. oh, so got them all consistent. Is normally if I was doing a lot of these, I would build a metal jig. But since this was just a quick and I only had to do eight of these total, mm -hmm. I just made a wood jig. And uh, there you go. Did it really quick, and that way they all match up correctly. Yeah. And it's consistent. So you can see where it's and they're burning down into okay. the wood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, like, from the fresh that welds. That was about maximum life for, <laughs> for this jig. <laughs> Well, we just made the final adjustments and the bed is in and better than ever. These mounts are so nice. Thanks to Dave and Jacob, wherever he is. And Jacob over there, that guy did a good job. But this is looking so good. I don't think we're gonna have any more issues. Knock on tailgate. All right, next we're about to see how this new receiver hitch works with the trailer. And we just cleared it. Oh, wow. Yep, and she clears her perfectly. Oh, that's so good. Wow. Good work, guys, man. <laughs> Seriously, thank you so much, yeah, you're dude. you're welcome. It's awesome. Yeah, so Jacob, thank you so much, man. No problem. That is a huge upgrade, for sure. <laughs> wow. Anything to make your life easier on the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. I wanted to give you guys a little better look in the daytime at the new extended receiver. Look at that beauty, that masterpiece. Dave did such a good job. The welds are great. The metal is amazing. It looks killer. So far I've had zero issues with it. No wobble, no weird shakes, no vibrations, nothing. I'm only going about 55, 60 pulling the trailer, but at that speed, Seems to be great. Off-road as well, seems to be handling awesome. Um, the lighting is very interesting tonight. Wow, wow, wow. So once again, a huge thank you to Jacob and David. You guys rock. You're heroes, you really are. Three, two, one. Cameras are rolling, action, go. All right, I got some thank yous tonight to new Patreon pledges. These guys are awesome. They're supporting the journey. And why is the exposure getting overexposed? There we go. Timmy O'Toole, Jack LaBoss, Nick, Matt Dole, like bananas, Tony Babino, and Don the Idea Guy. I wanna be friends with that guy. He's got ideas. Thank you guys so much for your support and for helping us out. We really appreciate it, guys. I think I got everyone. Down the idea guy. Timmy O'Toole, like Jack LaBoss, Matt Dole, Nick. Oh, Geoff Munch. I forgot about Geoff Munch. Oh, man. I know. Oh. Geoff Munch. Geoff Munch. Geoff Munch. My best friend in the whole world, Izzy. <laughs> this girl. Look how cool she is. With her new headlamp. 
Oh, you look awesome. Pretty dope. And this is like representing Wisconsin tradition. This hat. Yes, you look. You look super dope. You really look awesome. I will shake your hand, sir. You are pretty cool. <laughs> You're pretty cool too. We're gonna go make some food and um, have a good old night. Yeah. Our bed has been ten times better. How many? Fifteen times better. At least times 20 better. times better. Okay. Yeah, we can make the nylon straps tighter, which makes it more firm. And then we put a mattress pad on top of the nylon webbing, <laughs> and it's super comfortable. It really is. It really is. It's so much better. So we slept the best last night. The best night.